violin now has a handle. It's starting to look like a real instrument. So the next thing, I have to shape the neck. It's still very rough, very oversized. And shaping the neck's very important. Um, players really notice uh, the uh, different neck shapes. It needs to be, in general, uh, the less of it there is, the better. But of course, you can't go too small because um, the neck will bend under the strings. And the other thing is, there's um, particular places where um, the curves have to occur because um, the shape of the neck and, and where it changes line um, are all cues for the player when they're, when they're um, shifting position and moving around the neck. So it's, it's, all, uh, it's all important stuff. And um, it's also the part that the player is actually holding on to. Um, and it's one of the parts that I really enjoy making the most because uh, it's, it's very tactile and uh, um, there's a lot of, a lot of feel in, in shaping this thing. Off the button on either side and make these lines run straight through. This is a draw knife. It has the flexibility of a knife, but you get extra leverage on it. If you anchor one end, you're actually you have some levering action going on there. So you can make quite um, quite controlled cuts with it, and it uh, it tracks as well as a as a spoke shave. I mean, this part here I'd normally do with a little hand knife and uh, it'll take a lot longer. I've been dreaming about making one with a blade that's only that wide. And you could really get into the corners with it. I'm going to rub it down with uh, horsetail and I want to give a little demo on how this stuff works. Um, I've rubbed it down with 400 grit and it's very smooth, it's got a dull surface. I'm coming in with the horsetail. So it's got these little ridges and um, it completely removes the, the um, dust. From the surface so not only is it smoothing it but it's burnishing at the same time so you see that sheen on there so it cuts very aggressively but it shines it burnishes at the same time it's great stuff and the final job on this violin is putting a little chamfer around the button the woodwork on the violin is done next I'm going to start varnishing 